Hi guys, today we are continuing on our uh, Raspberry Pi N64 project and uh, in part two of the series we will be configuring the Raspberry Pi and doing the initial, initial configuration as well as overclocking it to the best uh, stable overclock we can find. Um, I will be following a guide for that being that I've never overclocked anything before so I'll provo provide the link to the guide that I'm going to be following down below. So I'm not going to take credit for that. But So that's what we're going to be doing. So let's get to it. Well, first of all, <laughs> we have our uh, micro SD card still in our card reader. So let's put that into our Raspberry Pi where it goes. And then we'll hook up our uh, keyboard. We're going to need a keyboard for configuring one of the, any of these USB slots. <clears throat> HDMI port for our monitor. And then as soon as you hook up the Raspberry Pi's power cord, the Pi itself will turn on. And you'll see this red light and then there will be a green blinking light next to it showing you that it is reading the uh, SD card. So I'm going to move the camera to the screen. Hopefully it won't be too bad so you guys can actually see what's going on with that. And I've also already configured this to run much larger so you guys can actually read it. So um, this is the welcome screen where it asks you to uh, press F4 to quit or hold the button on a device to configure it, like a joypad or keyboard or whatever. I'm going to just hit F4 because we want to go to the command terminal here. Um, so to start out with, you always uh, want to go to raspy config on any Raspberry Pi that you've just started. So sudo raspy config enter and then the first thing you should always do is the first thing on the list uh, expand file systems so you just hit enter and it does that automatically and then hit enter again uh, and then we're gonna go down to well you see the the overclock configuration it won't let you do that on a Raspberry Pi 3 so we have to do that manually, but we're going to go down to advanced and uh, set up our locale, which is nowhere to be found. Was it not in advanced? Change user password. Anyway. Oh, international setup. Sorry. So we'll do the uh, the first thing: change local setup language. I'm just okay for this, and scroll down to whatever language you desire. I'm actually going to take this one off the default by hitting spacebar, and go down to English U.S. UTF-8. Hit space, tab, and enter tab and enter, go down to English, US, UTF-8, enter. It's going to do its thing. We're going to go back to International Setup and do the keyboard, the third option. And stick with generic. English UK is not correct. We want English US. So we we'll go to other and then English US enter and then we'll go up to English US enter enter uh, enter tab enter no compose key enter and then we'll tab twice to go to finish enter again for yes and we'll start our overclock 
So we're back at the joypad screen. We're going to hit F4 again. And we're going to go, we're going to type in sudo nano uh, slash boot config dot t, txt and hit enter. Make sure our numlock is on. And we're going to scroll down to right here where all this GPU business is and we're going to delete everything from here on. And then we're going to start out with arm frequency equals 1350 and again this is just a starting point. This may not even be stable, I don't know. Core frequency of 525 over voltage of 5 and I don't think that this is a moderate starting point but that's okay uh, GPU frequency of 500 SD RAM frequency of 450 GPU mem GPU mem sets how much of the RAM you want to set specifically for graphics. So if we go 512, this is a one gigabyte graph, uh, one gigabyte RAM system. So that'll put half of it for the graphics card and half of it for the processing. So then Control X to exit out of this, Y to save it, and Enter. There we go. Okay, CD stress test. CD1 escape character space hyphen escape character space uh, CPU the m prime dot py is what we need so Python m prime dot py select first number in range and they suggest starting with ten thousand and ending with fifteen thousand and there's four cores on a Raspberry Pi 3, so we go with four. If it's a Pi 1, there's only one. We go with one. And then it should stress the CPU enough to test our overclock settings. All right, looks like that succeeded. So we can go on to the next test. Um, I will actually play with that CPU clock later and see if I can get it any higher than what, what it is, but I'm not going to bore you guys with all of that. So, let's go on to the next test. So, cd space dot dot enter ls cd2 escape space hyphen escape space ram boom ls read me We might not be able to do this. Oh, I have to get mem tester. Okay. Pseudo apt get update enter. And this could take a while. So more than likely I'll be fast forwarding through this as well. So that didn't take long at all. I failed to fetch. I don't have the internet. All right, well, I guess I will figure out my internet situation and get back. All righty, guys, I'm back with the internet now, so let's uh, give this another go. sudo space apt hyphen get space update enter. There we go. And again, this might take a while, so I'll probably fast forward through this. All right, so might as well do sudo apt get up great as well, seeing as how we did update. You should always do both at the same time. Uh, do I want to continue? Yes. And this is also going to take a while because I have sat satellite internet and need to get 100 megabytes worth of stuff. So I'll definitely be fast forwarding this as well. Alright, so we're done updating and upgrading our Raspberry Pi. So let's get back to testing our, over our overclock settings. And we were on the RAM test, which we are still in the RAM folder. So let's go back and read the readme again sudo nano readme 
uh, we need to install memtester. Control X to get out of here. sudo apt get inst install memtester. Oh my gosh, tester, enter. And, and this shouldn't take long, it's only 18 kilobytes. I should have read in that README what you actually have to run to test it. So we're going to have to sudo nano README again just to figure out what I had to run. So sudo nano README. Control X mem tester 140 M4. And holy cow, that's fast. Oh, look at that. Didn't run long at all, and it looks like everything's good. So now we can test our uh, SD card. So we'll CD back, dot dot to go back a folder, and then CD. 3 escape space hyphen escape space uh, SD escape space card ls and then uh, we got a we got a bash file stability so we'll just run well let's see what the readme says there might be more to it sudo chmod sudo chmod plus x stability dot sh that makes it executable and then you execute it by sudo dot forward slash stability dot sh enter permission denied hmm. I'm really not sure why permission was denied Let's try sudo bash stability sh. Okay. So I guess we'll do it my way instead of their way. So I cut the video a little bit short on the SD card portion of the testings. Um, it did actually pass. It took five and a half hours. So in uh, future testings, I probably will not mess with the SD card setting at all. Um, I will, however, tweak the other settings on it. And uh, I'll let you guys know in the video description below <clears throat> what my, my best stable overclock settings I come up with which may or may not be the right settings for your Pi. Every Pi is different. Some overclock more than others. So I just kind of wanted to give you guys a general overview of a, a base setting where I decided to start which may or may not work for you. I, I don't know. And uh, how to go about testing your settings. So. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. If not, don't like, don't subscribe. Leave comments either way. And uh, I'll see you in future videos.